Hey everyone, Joel Lancer. Today we're in Katy, Texas. That's right, Katy, Texas, just outside of Houston here at Teriyaki Madness. Yes, that's right, here at Teriyaki Madness to do the Mad Spicy Challenge. And I'm a little worried because it's supposed to be really spicy. But anyway, here we are to do four, sorry, four of their very large um, kind of like bowls or teriyaki bowls. So this restaurant itself is kind of like Asian fusion where you can get like orange chicken and steak and chicken and teriyaki chicken, all with rice and noodles and vegetables, all in these delicious bowls. So we have four large bowls of that. We have an egg roll and I believe an order of crab ragoon, something like that. So that sounds very, very delicious. So let's head on in. I don't know too much else about the challenge. I just kind of pulled up. I'm gonna get you some more info here momentarily, but uh, it sounds very delicious. It looks really awesome. Um, there's obviously this location here. I know there's one in Round Rock as well. So definitely in that Austin area, this getting in the Houston area. So anyway, let's uh, go get you some info about the challenge. I have more coming. All I know right now is it's very spicy and there's a lot of food. But anyway, let's go get some more details and let's eat some food. All right, everyone, so here is all the food. Looks very, very delicious. So we have the crab ragoons, we have the egg rolls. Here I have a teriyaki chicken bowl. Uh, this one actually has all veggies on it. Um, this one is the mad spicy orange chicken. We got uh, brown rice and veggies in this one. We then have the mad spicy steak. And these things, they look pretty dang mad spicy. I don't know if you can see the color on this, but it's pretty deep spice. With this side, the noodles and the veggies. And here's, I have the spicy, mad spicy chicken in a yakisoba style, which is basically where they like whip it up a block. Uh, mix it all together, which looks very, very delicious. Kind of get some like stir fry vibes, but it looks fantastic. So yeah, pretty much that's about it. Um, we are gonna have 30 minutes to complete this. So wish me luck, it is definitely a lot of food. Uh, but that, we're gonna start here just momentarily. So fingers crossed, let's see what we can do. This looks absolutely fantastic. So I have no complaints. I do have a fork, I also have this lovely piece of equipment. This is the ultimate sport. So have we can start, let's say the count of five, four, three, Two, I'll start with the uh, teriyaki chicken. I think that's very soothing. One, let's eat some food. Mm. Ooh. It's actually really delicious. The flavors, I kind of grill on there. Oh, <laughs> And the vegetables, I really like it. Get some, get some fiber. Hey everyone, welcome to video. Today we're here at Teriyaki Madness in Katy, Texas doing their Mad Spicy Challenge. So this Mad Spicy Challenge was an uh, exclusive thing to this location um, and basically we had 30 minutes to eat all this food. So these bowls were very, very, very heavy. They overall was like probably about nine pounds of food, maybe even a little bit more, as some of the bowls which we weighed um, were up of like two and a half pounds. So, you know, with the four bowls, and the egg rolls and the crab ragoons. I think comfortably we are probably somewhere at least eight or nine pounds. You know, the best part about this is just like healthy. It's like a really nice healthy option. Pick up, grab and go. Nice casual spot here. So the mad spicy sauces or flavors was like a new thing that they just released. Um, and then again, you could get it with like the orange chicken, the beef, um, or the chicken, and I had all of them plus the traditional teriyaki bowl. These ones are what I'm really worried about. These are all the mad spicy. So if you're not familiar with teriyaki madness, it is kind of like these teriyaki bowls. Um, you do have like the option of like picking your protein, and then you can pick whether you want like noodles or rice. Um, so there's a couple different types of noodles. You get like brown rice, white rice. You can get all vegetables, which I did for this one here. I went like the one with the all vegetables. I had one with uh, uh, like noodles and half veggies, and then one with half rice, half veggies. So what I, that's what I really liked because you actually can kind of pick like healthier options. Like if you want a little more fiber, you can do brown rice. If you want just veggies, you can get all veggies. Um, you know, if you want all noodles, you can do all noodles. It's really like whatever you want, plus your preference. I just like vegetables and I wanted some fiber and some health. So that's why I opted for one whole veggies. And then I made sure I got veggies in all of them. And then we had the one bowl, which is the uh, kind of yakisoba style, which was kind of like stir fried and all mixed up, um, kind of like swished around in the wok. <laughs> About two and a half minutes in, got first one down. That was fantastic, like seriously, just so delicious. Like I so said, things are gonna get a little more interesting. These are gonna get real spicy real quick, but you just gotta do it, right? So uh, how about I start with the, I'll do this one, the yakisoba style chicken. 
This is fantastic. And these are huge. These are the large portions. They weighed this out. This was something like two and a half pounds. So this is some serious weight here. I love flavor. Okay, that's hot. That flavor is very good. The actual flavor of the mad spicy sauce, a mad hot sauce, yeah, mad spicy sauce, was very, very good. Um, so I love heat, like I do like a spice. I don't generally enjoy spice with quantity of food, like a large quantity. I find it doesn't sit well in my stomach, um, but the flavor was absolutely fantastic. So, you know, I find when you get really going with like ghost peppers and Carolina Reapers and scorpion peppers, all the really hot sauces, the really hot peppers, generally the sauces just taste like pain and they just taste bad but this had heat and such a delicious flavor i think that's the biggest thing that stood out not only did it have a lot of heat a lot of spice but it was just very 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 tasty like you could i mean i don't really think i would technically want to drink the sauce because it was really spicy but the flavor profile i would i just splashed the sauce in my eye wasn't expecting that. Oh, watch out, buddy. Watch out. There we got sauce in my eye. My camera shifted, but I think we're back in action now. Woo! So while I definitely don't think anybody needs to eat four of these bowls, especially in one sitting, I would definitely recommend trying the mad spicy sauce and or coming by Teriyaki Madness. Um, the staff here were really, really cool. Of course, it's just like a casual place. Um, quick, prepared, ready to rock and roll. In and out, great place for a meal like after the gym or you know on your way home or really at any time, I th I'd say. Um, I was really enjoying the bowls though. Um, overall, that's pretty much all the info I think I have for you today. Uh, like I said, just a really cool place. There's Terry Mac and uh, Madness is all over the place. Um, but definitely, like I said, this is the one here at Katy um, in Katy, Texas, just, just outside of Houston. That was delicious. Thank you. My face is definitely burning a bit. The eye is definitely burning a lot. But I tell you, man, that is that is delicious. The yakisoba style is great way to kind of mix that up. That was fantastic. Um, I'm about to try this steak now. Mad steak. Woo. Wish me luck, guys. The heat is the heat is building a little bit. There's lots of noodles here. Look at all this. Woo! And with that, everybody, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Um, so I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. Um, but while we're at it, comment down below. What's your favorite kind of teriyaki bowl? And uh, Or if you've never had one, you think you'd like to try one? Look forward to hearing from you. And with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Yep, that'd be hot. <laughs> Definitely got my nose running a bit. Ooh, what that? The flavors of this mad hot sauce, it's fantastic. I think that's like what I'm, like, that it's just, it, it, it's not just straight heat though. It's heat, but such a pleasant flavor. <laughs> I would recommend. down. One to go. Woo. Definitely got some heat building up. Ugh. Not only temperature wise, but also in the in the in the mouth department. In the eye of mine, I tell you guys, the mad hot sauce is delicious in your mouth. Not so much in your eye. Definitely would uh, try to keep it there, but no, this is delicious. I'm down to, oh, thank you so much. Napkins, they're, they're treating me well. Excuse me, comments of the chef. Then we're down to the mad orange chicken, which is one of my favorite items to save it for last. I love orange chicken. Super excited for that. Then we're just down to the egg rolls and the crab right And we're sitting just under nine minutes. Woo! Let's see how this. This, this this last spicy one goes. Oh wow, yeah, okay. That's good. I love one of them. 
great way to clear your sinuses out. I tell you, enjoy a great meal and clear your sinuses out, two in one. Kill two birds with one stone. We've made it to this point in the video. First off, thank you so much for continuing to watch. I really appreciate that. You know, but I'm really curious. What would you do if you found $1,000 on the ground? What would you buy? Would you give it away? Let me know down below. $1,000? You just found it walking around. What would you do? One thing's for sure. The portions you're getting are huge. These are giant. I promise you, nobody will ever have to use four of these. One of these will definitely do you well. Twelve minutes in, definitely a lot of food. Like I said, I didn't realize how heavy some of those bowls were until we're in them. But like I said, giant, giant portions, very fantastic. Orange chicken was great. Now let's dive into some of these crab ragoons and egg rolls. I got some sweet and sour sauce here for my egg rolls. So hold on, I got a burp coming. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, kids, don't do that ever. <laughs> Listen, you're better than that. No, I'm just kidding. Let's eat that. That's a good egg roll. Egg rolls are something I don't have enough of. Good thing. We are a cherry academic. Crab are good. That lovely, rich, creamy seafood flavor. Woo! And we are finished. About. About 14:03, just over 14 minutes. Very, very delicious. That was like. Those crab ragoons was a great way to end fish up. Absolutely fantastic. Those are so delicious. Again, that kind of creamy crabness, that was amazing. I gotta say, these freaking bowls, oh my gosh. Those mad bowls, although they are definitely spicy and still burning, man, the flavor on those is fantastic. Spitting all over. Just like, absolutely love the flavor of them. Everything was delicious. The orange chicken was fantastic. The, uh, the steak was amazing as well, the chicken. Everything was very enjoyable. I love the option that I can just get the veggies as well. I give you brown rice, so you get all your healthy options. And uh, yeah, like, quick, convenient, definitely a place to stop on by. So that I want to give a huge thanks to Terry Eckie Madness for having me out. Thank you so much, everybody. Woo! Definitely a place I will know to come back to. Um, and like I said, they also got a uh, location in Round Rock as well, if you're in the Austin area. And if you're in the Houston area, definitely stop on here in Katy. Literally just off the, the little free, freeway, the interstate there. So just hop on in, grab yourself some food, quick, jiffy, easy to go. So I don't the next time. Of course, I have the hungry, happy eating. I'm um, gonna do get the meal for free for completing, which is awesome. And uh, that's about that. This was really good. I was like, yeah, really, really good. And like the yakisoba, like, definitely try your noodles like that. That bowl was just fantastic. All mixed up, just woo! Comments to the chef. So everyone, until next time, that's about it. Have a good day. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.